Hi, let's talk about IP camera installation and configuration. What you see here now is a login screen to the IP camera. There, there's the internal uh, private IP address of that camera on my network. And uh, this is basically a Chrome browser and you can just type your, uh, type your address if you are on your own network. Uh, so you, you must have a computer uh, or laptop connected to your own network. You just open the browser and camera obviously must be in the same network uh, and you type address of the camera. Uh, this address obviously is not a default address. It's, this camera was already programmed for that address and, uh, and that's why uh, it has that particular address. Usually you get a default address which will be uh, de which depends on the make of the camera uh, and there are other tools which which will uh, may help you to discover that, that address but as for IP camera installation and configuration it is not uh, it is simple but not simple subject so uh, basically you need a lot of stuff because beside the camera you can connect us in that manner you can connect camera to the computer uh, but you cannot really use it. You need a DVR, hybrid DVR or NVR uh, to, to record it and, and, and store recordings. So it's a little bit more advanced subject. On this one I can show you basically how camera uh, interface looks like inside. And uh, uh, we can go to different subjects which you may need to know basic configuration of the camera is very simple so let's log in and have a look so uh, log in uh, and you should get some sort of picture okay that's that's a view through my window uh, you can see the, the reflection on the window um, doesn't really matter uh, basically uh, when you log in into any IP camera, you should get some sort of picture. Sometimes you may have a problem with the picture. It depends really on the software of the camera and uh, how it corresponds with your browser. So it might be a good idea to try different browser like um, sometimes old Internet Explorer look, works better, sometimes Chrome. Sometimes you, ha you have to install some sort of plugins, um, <laughs> then you install them and they don't work. So there are all kinds of circumstances regarding that, okay? Um, so basically you're getting something like this, mainstream and substream. And uh, the main thing about setting of camera is there. That's a tab called settings. And uh, if you, we go there, uh, we, I'll just quickly go to those main settings you always have to do. So first of all, you go to system general date and time and you have to set your time okay i have a dublin uh, edinburgh lisbon london and so on and that's correct time camera comes usually with the time zone of your uh, of the producer so uh, usually they end up uh, the time zone end up in, in in china so you have to set that you have to set this this is my test camera which i use for for training so i i, I do not bother with uh, setting days uh, savings time uh, or network time protocol so both of them should be set so that's the first thing which you do then you go to the network tcp ip and you set up your ip address mask and a default gateway and obviously dns uh, dns is not that important unless camera is supposed to be uh, connecting somewhere else uh, you can do statics static uh, mode you can do dhcp uh, i explained more about it uh, all those settings in in in, in our course um, there are, here are ports usually you don't change them unless you want to use custom ports if you use them at all uh, because some of those ports will be used when you connect uh, dvr will be connecting to that or nvr most of those things we will never use in the camera itself, but you will use them in the uh, DVR and VR. In the camera only if it will be standalone camera and then you connect the camera somewhere else. 
some of them may be useful. Another place when you want to go is go to camera, go to video. And these are video settings, mainstream and substream. Uh, you can set different, uh, depending on the camera obviously, you can set different encodings, different uh, resolution. I'm, I'm running on the smallest resolution because for some reasons my, my on this computer I cannot get any higher. But if I connect that camera to my MVR, obviously it will work on this one. Uh, frame rates, uh, bit rate, these are settings for the mainstream and similar settings just um, reduced for the substream. And basically this, these are all the settings you will be doing uh, in, the, in the camera very rarely you will be doing something else but we, we discuss it in in the detail in in our in our course one thing which you may want to have a look just quickly uh, with me uh, just for sake of that it is interesting this is a uh, this camera has a very focal lenses so we can zoom in on stuff so basically i can take this and slide it here and this camera will zoom in and then focus. We can go max. Ah, that's max. And it automatically will find focus. Ah, then it was the window. Uh, so, uh, and you can zoom out completely as well. Um, that's most of the IP cameras won't have it, but some will. Uh, depends how much you pay for the camera. Uh, it's a very useful feature because you can install camera and then you can zoom in, zoom out uh, um, to the certain position to have a proper view, uh, the one which uh, is, is important for you. So basically that's, that's it. Uh, as for settings, uh, configuration of the camera, uh, the, the, we can go deeper into that to show different um, cameras but this I, I would have to for this I would have to invite you to our course if I log out of that I'm getting something like this that's a, a typical screen for the IC real time camera now for for you to be able to install and configure IP cameras you basically have to configure whole thing so which is a hybrid DVR which means hybrid means that can hand, handle also IP cameras or you have to have NVR. And there's a lot of stuff you have to understand to do that properly. And I will just talk you through quickly through, from our apps, uh, website. Uh, I show you that on our website, which is called ipcamerahelper.com, where we have a course, uh, which has, I can see different. So this is all related to IP cameras, those subjects. And this is all uh, just for, sub, for, for IP cameras and there, there are subjects, basics of CCTV, storage, and then analog and uh, uh, HD cameras. So just going to that, you have to understand networks to work with IP CCTV. Uh, there are main subjects which we cover on our website um, you don't have to be, you know, a high level IT specialist to work with IP cameras. This takes, I don't know, uh, just videos, videos run for like a little bit over an hour, maybe one half hour to cover those subjects. And, uh, and this, this is enough in general to, to work with them unless you have to work with uh, managed networks, then it's it's a whole another story um, then uh, subjects you have to understand how camera actually works so you have types of cameras uh, video quality in network cameras how you set it up you did see the part of that uh, when we we're set looking at frames and the compression and similar uh, how to program you you did see a uh, serious part of that Live configuration, uh, that's that's something like that. Then you have to program different cameras from different makes. They may be slightly different. So that, that's that's as much as the, for the simple cameras. Now obviously, IP cameras may be much more complicated. You can have PTZ IP cameras, you can have ANPR cameras. 
which are completely uh, more uh, that different from regular cameras because the intel intelligent cameras all have additional functions. Then you have network video recorders. And, uh, to s and and configuration and installation of that is much more complicated than the camera because it requires uh, much more stuff uh, which you have to understand and um, and then you connect this, this camera which I did show you uh, there are m many ways to connect it there are different types of those NVRs and depending on the type you can connect it in different ways uh, then there is something what is called video management software and this is one for IC release time, there is one for the Hig Vision, and obviously different, there are different uh, versions of, from different makes, as well as you have those which are independent uh, and then can work with many different cameras. Um, so this is also part of that, because to that software you can connect camera directly, or you can connect NVR or DVR, and you can view that on some computer somewhere. Then you have remote video monitoring which is similar to video management software for that difference that uh, this will be mostly used uh, for peop by people uh, simply when they want to watch the what is happening let's say in the office or home on the app on the on the smartphone so um, mostly this this is useful uh, this could be, can be also connected to the computer uh, setting up that is also a little bit sometimes complicated. Then you have tools. You have IP scanners, you have uh, cable testers, uh, PoE testers, um, different config tools. Uh, I will just go back to IP network fundamentals. There is whole f uh, subject of PoE uh, equipment because IP cameras can be powered over networks. So through the network cable camera can be powered. And you have to understand how to work with that because in many cases you have to connect it to that. Um, so that's a lot of things to cover. And beside it, obviously, if, if you've never done anything about IP, sorry, CCTV, you have to understand basics of CCTV. That's not, you know, something we can skip. Uh, you have to understand the resolution, you have to understand how your camera works, uh, how to power camera, how to um, set up certain things regarding uh, camera uh, camera position to, to achieve uh, proper picture and, and uh, what type of lenses to use. So th th these are important things if you've never done that. And uh, for instance we also have that uh, which is hybrid DVR. Hybrid DVR is a combination of DVR and NVR, so it works both with regular HD cameras, analog cameras, but also with IP cameras. And it's a different way uh, of programming that because you, you, you're adding cameras uh, through different menus. So, as I said, there's a lot of things to cover regarding that. And I'm just... Uh, wanted to, to talk you through to the main, main aspect, aspects of that. So it is not a simple subject, it, it would require you to spend some time uh, learning, and, uh, but it's not uh, that difficult once you start learning. So I just invite you to uh, visit our website ipcamerahelper.com and uh, learn as much as you can. Thank you.